So we're going to cover this article here. And this is still pretty relevant. You know, if you were to ask your local nurse, you know, someone that you know, doctor, etc. And if you were to look in your average hospital, people are like, where'd the flu go? Flu seems to have disappeared. In fact, even scientific Americans are like, you seen the flu? Anybody seen the flu? Ain't no flu under there. I'm not quite sure where it went. It says flu has disappeared for more than a year. And of course, the narrative is mask wearing, social distancing, and other steps to stop COVID-19 have also curtailed influenza. And I'm like, well, if they know flu cases, because you can look down here, the flu cases have literally just positivity rates below 1%. So literally over 99% of all flu cases have all but disappeared. And yet, when you look at the cases in America, we got triple the number of COVID cases. So how is it that social distancing and mask wearing and even the introduction of a vaccine have actually increased oddly the number of COVID cases, but completely reduced flu cases to almost zero across the entire planet. Now, this is COVID cases back in when there were no, when there was no vaccine. There was no vaccine. There was no real distribution going on back in September. And you can see the seven day average was 35,000, seven, you know, 40,000, 43,000. But you look here where there's a robust distribution of vaccines and you can see the numbers 158,000, 160,000, etc. So it's so weird to see more cases post vaccine, but the narrative is that the flu has just literally disappeared as you can see from the chart. It's just like where to it go? It's like a world waldo. Right? You're trying to find trying to find the flu, you can't find it. And of course, the narrative is because of uh, epidemiologists thinks that it's a public health measures taken to keep the virus, the COVID virus from spreading, notably mask wearing and social distancing also stopped the flu. So the flu just virtually disappeared. But COVID is actually on the rise. And this is the narrative that they want people to believe. And of course, many healthcare workers don't even want to talk about this. You're like, hey, you seen the flu? And they're just like, oh, I don't know, maybe. Influenza virus is treated, transmitted in much the same way, right? All respiratory. It says the virus that causes COVID-19, it says that they are less effective at jumping from person to person. It says a Scientific American reported back in 2020, it says the drop-off in flu numbers following COVID's arrival was swift and global. It says since then, the cases have stayed remarkably low. Just is, There's just no flu. Right. According to them, this is according to Greg Poland, who has studied the disease at the Mayo Clinic for decades, it says the U.S. saw about 700 deaths from influenza during 2020 to 2021 season. In comparison, the Centers for Disease and Prevention estimates that there were approximately 22,000 U.S. deaths in prior seasons and 34,000 deaths just two seasons ago. And now there's only 700. How odd. You can take a look at it right here. This is the positivity rate. The positivity rate during peak flu season, as you can see right here, which is typically, you know, November, you know, October, November, December, January, and by February, it starts, to, it starts to come down. And as you can see that the positivity rate in terms of the number of people who are, are tested for the flu is 30%. In fact, even into 2019, it was around those same numbers, but just oddly just completely vanished in 2020 and so people think whoa you know they're trying to get people to prepare this article talks about how um, they're not quite sure if the infection is going to come back and i'm like well we gotta ask Gemma. Gemma says uh, influenza's unprecedented low profile during the covid 19 pandemic leaves experts wondering what this flu season has in store and of course you read this article and they say the exact same thing that currently ain't no ain't no flu out there for 2021 to the 2022 just looks like it's not going to be out there and it's just where we're gonna i got a couple of videos that i want to put out we're gonna eventually gonna touch on this one and touch on palestine you know palestine is the neighboring country uh, and you have a lot of palestinian palestinians that live in jerusalem and of course jerusalem is seeing spikes and we're gonna find out what's going on in palestine because ain't nobody talking about palestine but anyway i'm gonna leave it here this was a short one that I wanted to do. Of course, both articles will be linked below for you to read a little bit in more detail about what's going on, or I should say, what's not going on with the flu. 
anyway, feel free, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you out next time here in sunny, well, not so sunny, Florida. Jacksonville is kind of uh, gloomy the past couple of days. But anyway, I'll come back to you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care. Of course, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe.